Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today I have a video for Windows optimization and I just want you guys to know this is something every single person that plays games on your PC should do. This is going to free up tons of resources, tons of space, tons of time, tons of communication. This is going to make it so when you restart your PC, nothing is running, you're using as little RAM as possible, and you're running as little services as possible, and everything is set up, and Windows has everything disabled that I know of that is going to ping your CPU and tell you something, such as news and weather, notifications, interests, advertisements, Discord notifications, any little pop-ups that happen while you're playing games, any virus scans that happen during games, anything on your PC that's running during games that you don't want to be, we're going to remove this now. So the first thing we need to do, and it's optional, is reinstall Windows. You don't have to reinstall Windows. I highly recommend it. The next thing we'll do is we're going to go into Task Manager after we have all of our programs that we want and hit Start Up and Disable Everything. As you can see, I literally disabled everything here. Nothing here is needed to boot my PC up. If you're worried about something, just leave it, but for the most part, you should be able to disable everything. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to understand that every program that you download, whether it's a game that has a cheat launcher, or a game that has an anti-cheat, a game that connects to other people online, any game launchers of their own, they're all going to have a service. So to get here, we type msconfig in the Windows search bar and we hit system configuration. Now we can go to services and we can hide all Microsoft services. As you can see, I have already gone through and made sure that these will be stopped on startup. However, if they are checkboxed and they are running, all you need to do is make sure you have hide all Microsoft services on and just start to uncheck these. That will make it so they are not running when the PC boots up. Now, the other thing as well, if you know a little bit about what you're doing or what you're looking for, you can come into the Microsoft services and start to uncheck some things that you think you may not need. After you're done that, you'll hit apply and then you'll hit OK and you're going to restart your PC once again. After we've done that and we've re restarted our PC again, now we want to quickly just take a look at the users tab and we want to make sure that our number here is anywhere between 15 and 30. It shouldn't be over 30. Sometimes it might be, it might not be the worst. It just depends what's running. So now that we have that sorted out, the next thing we want to do is we want to go into the Windows things here and we want to disable things on Windows that are going to give us a hard time. So let's start by going to notifications and let's go to the notifications and actions. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start by turning everything off. And what I mean by that is uncheck these boxes first and then turn all the notifications off at the top here. And this will make it so Windows stops pinging you for notifications that you don't care about. As well with that, you can also come through this menu and you can see I have this turned off here and I'll turn off pretty much everything that I see in these areas that I think might have to do with any sort of notifications or pinging me for something. So then we're going to go ahead and close that and in the taskbar again we will go to news and interests and we will turn this off. If you see weather, Cortana button, or anything along those lines you're also going to go ahead and turn those off. The next thing that we'll do is we will go into add or remove programs and we're going to go through here and delete everything that we might not be using, we might not play again, old game launchers that we might not ever use, and we're going to make sure that we remove everything from Windows by default that we don't care about. So that could be Cortana, it could be Xbox stuff, it could be 
anything that comes with Windows. 3D Paint, all those basic apps that come with Windows and everything like that. You're going to come in here and you're going to remove them. Now if you can't remove them, don't worry because what we can do is go to Advanced Options and we can actually just turn off everything in here and make sure that it's not doing anything. I have background apps off there and the app permissions here is just making sure it has access to my camera and microphone. I don't ever use Xbox, so I'm just actually going to turn that off. And if I ever want to come back and play it, I can re-enable that. So now that we've done all that stuff, we should have a significant improvement on our performance already. So go ahead and restart your PC again. And when you come into Task Manager this time around, I want you to hit Performance, and we're going to make sure that our memory is anywhere from 1.9 to 3 gigs of RAM. If it's not 1.9 to 3 gigs, go to your Users tab off of a fresh startup and end all of the tasks here that you might not use. You don't have to really worry because if you end something that Windows doesn't want you to end, it will notify you, or if you end something don't ever end Windows Explorer, but if you end something like Windows Explorer and your screens go black, just restart your PC, everything will be fine when it reboots. So hopefully, at this point in the video, we can start up our PC to a minimal usage of RAM. Now, one other thing we can do here, uh, we will get into a bunch more stuff, but one other thing that we can do while we are playing games and we're just playing games, if you go to your antivirus and threat protection, you will see virus and threat protection settings. Now what I usually do is I will turn my real-time protection off. And I'll do that while I play games so I don't get any unwanted scanning or any background stuff happening while I play games. Now most people would say, oh that sounds really unsafe or you know you shouldn't run without any antivirus and all that kind of stuff when truthfully the person or thing that is going to keep you the most safe is yourself. So if you join my Discord, I have a hacking prevention section in my Discord with tons of examples on what not to do while on the internet. You can play games safely without running an antivirus software in the background. I never do and I have not been hacked. No, this isn't a challenge to come and hack me, but this is literally me saying, yeah, I play games without antivirus running in the background because it's just Windows antivirus anyways. The real threat comes from accepting programs and clicking links from people that Windows is not going to pick up on. If you've ever done that in the past, perfect chance to reinstall Windows. So now we've gone over a bunch of stuff and now we just want to make sure that everything is good. So another thing that we can do here is we can go into our PC and we should be able to find a file here if we click our local to C temp and we can delete that file and everything will come back that needs to come back that will free up some temp space. Another quick thing to do is to go back to my PC and click on Windows, click on Properties, and in here somewhere we will find something to possibly format this drive. Potentially not. Disk Cleanup, there we go. So in here we do Disk Cleanup, and I am going to clean the Windows errors and temporary files and we will clean up the system files and we will hit OK. I'm not going to do it on the D drive because when you go to do the D drive it wants to remove everything on me. Um, I don't know if it's because it's a Windows C drive default and the, the D drive it just wants to clear the whole thing when you do it but it does that and it's annoying. Now one other thing we can do here is we can go to Internet and we can go to CCleaner, and we can go to CCleaner.com. This is a program that is really good to run once every week or so, and all you need to do is get the free trial. 
actually download the free one, free trial. And this program here, I will install now and show you guys actually how to use it because it's really beneficial to have. One big thing to note with this program is if you do all the cookies clean up and stuff, you will lose some passwords that you have automatically to be signed in. So keep that in mind. And it's going to say that you have 14 days remaining, but it will actually stay here forever. So what we need to do on this is we need to go to the custom clean. And on the left, you'll see that you have all of these things you can pick to clean from. I'm going to let it run on default. And yes, I will close Edge Chromium. And we will run the cleaner. Now, after you hit analyze and run the cleaner once, you're going to reanalyze and make sure there's nothing to remove and everything will be good. The next thing we'll do is hit the registry tab, scan for issues, which it will always usually find a ton of them. And by a ton, I literally mean a ton. And I'm, you should back up the registry, but I never do. I haven't had any problems. And you hit fix all selected issues and hit close. And we're going to scan it again. And eventually you'll notice that you get down to just the couple same repeated ones over and over and over again. Now we'll scan for issues again. And this active XCOM issue is the only one that is here. So again, now that we've done that, we need to go back to task manager, go to startup and disable CCleaner on startup and go to MS config again. And let's just make sure that we don't see the CCleaner program service in here, which I don't. So we're good to go. So now let's restart our PC one last time and you should now have space. Your services shouldn't be running in the background that you don't need. Your PC should start up faster. You should be getting better FPS in games and everything should be an overall better experience. If you want to go the extra mile and you really want to start getting things as low as you can go on your PC end, you can come into details and you can start ending every process that you've ran while you've been on your PC. So at the end of the day, it's really important to know that some of your PC performance can be from space on your drive and it not being there. Some of it can be because you're streaming in Discord, watching streams and doing other things all at once. And speaking of Discord, I'm actually going to show you guys one other crucial setting that I just got reminded about on the Discord here, which is a big setting for people that have a lower tier system. And you want to just click on your Discord user settings and scroll down to advanced. And you want to make sure that you turn off hardware acceleration. I have hardware acceleration on because my PC is good, but I will turn it off because I don't care about the fidelity of Discord. And another thing while we are in here actually is the power and sleep settings, which we need to go to our power plan. So on the left somewhere, we should find something called power or additional power settings on the right. And for me, I like to use high performance. Yes, this is going to make my PC run more. It's going to, you know, cost a higher power bill, but my power bill, my PC is going to be running good all the time. And Windows is going to do its best to make it optimal for performance. So now that we have all that out of the way, that's honestly should be a lot of stuff to get people up and moving with their PC and getting things working properly again. If you want to come join the community, I do have the social co community gaming discord. There's over 5,000 people in here. Now we had a big friendly group of people. We all do help each other out all the time and we're always trying to spread positivity and have a good time. And for those people that have been following me for a while now, and have always asked if I've had a Patreon or if I was ever going to make one. Well, I did make one and you can find that link in the description. 
However, my Patreon is a little different from others. I'm not trying to make money for myself. I am trying to make money to benefit the community that I am running by using that money to pay for servers, supply free content, buy people Discord Nitro, buy people DLCs for the game, and all of that kind of stuff there. I don't need money to be all of my own, and in fact, I like to help other people. So doing so through, you know, donations and stuff from other people's money is just going to make the community overall better and I can put more into it because I am limited to my own wallet when I'm doing all these projects and stuff like that and everyone that's supported so far. So it does make a difference and it's good to know, you know, that it's not going to someone that's greedy that's just trying to keep it all and make money for themselves like a lot of other people out there. So that's it, everybody. That's how you can optimize your PC. That's how you can get Windows running a little better. Not every little thing is included here that I've ever thought about, but this is the majority of the stuff that is going to make your PC run good or as good as it can. Have a good day, everybody. Stay gaming.